So hi, it's me, Denny Daniel, and I'm here with... Ross. And Ma. And the spirit that's sitting next to you is... Uh. Her mom. Miriam. Miriam. And Miriam, the spirit sitting next to her. Yes, we have the spirit of Miriam, who will be Emma for today. That's her mom. And uh, so Miriam, you're probably laughing now watching this. Uh, so, so they went through the museum. It took them about a week. Uh, Emma was only yeah. three when we got here. Yeah. Uh, and now they're going to open up. Uh, yep, it was four, it took four, it took four years. four years to go through every item in the entire museum. They went under the sofas and couches and tables. And now they're going to open up one of these three. Wait, it looks like two. There's a third giant item over here. Whoa! So yeah. they're going to open up each one of these, and I'm going to do my 40 Second Street Shell Game mix-up. So here is me mixing these two. And then here is me mixing this one. <laughs> That's so big. Are you guys confused? Very. No. Very. No, you it need more. <laughs> okay, Emma, are you confused? Okay, yes, I am very confused. <laughs> Good, because otherwise I'd have to do that all day and you'd be in college before we're done. Okay, so uh, each one of you pick the ones for yourself and we'll do the ghost last. <laughs> do it. That's the one for you. And then uh, which one do you want to open? The one I'll with take the, the, the one that's not for a ghost. Okay. Thank you. And uh, there's your scissor. Thank and you. Uh, my God, look at that thing. Let me do the cutting because it's yeah. way out of control. Okay, yeah. And I can tell that no human can it's do this. Can you <laughs> yeah. help me with the cutting on this one? Yeah, yeah you do the cutting on that one. Yeah. My God. <laughs> what were it's they bees. Thinking? They didn't want them to escape. This is crazy. Ah, but I found a very quick way to do it. So ironically, Emma's will be done before you. <laughs> How cool is that? You beat your dog. So just uh, open that up and pull out whatever's in there carefully, because God knows what it is. Oh, throw that over there, throw that over there, throw that over there. Very bright. Throw that over there. Excellent. So that's the item. Let's uh, hold on. Let me have it. I'm going to do some extra cutting for you so that it comes out a little faster. Usually by now I can guess what it, oh, I think I know what this is. Oh. Your dad is going to go crazy. I can't wait for you to go crazy. Yeah, he is going to go holy moly. This is going to be the star of one of our shows that we're doing in um, April. If I'm right, I could be wrong, but I... Okay, so... Go ahead, open up these two. Oh, no, it's a different item. This is perfect for you, not for your dad. This is perfect. Oh, I didn't guess right. I was like, boy, that's interesting that you opened up the item that your dad would have liked to open. Um, but no, you opened up the item that you would have liked to open. <laughs> these are, I didn't even know these existed until recently. They're a special kind of uh, picture. Watch yourselves. Mm -hmm. Wow, is that what they look mm -hmm. like? <gasps> they're so beautiful. Oh my lord, they're beautiful. What are you talking about? They're called, uh, I think the name is Crystolium. Crystolium pictures. And it's this weird process where you take the picture and then you like take off the, you, you kind of embed it into glass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's just, they're beautiful. Yeah, the process is really interesting. And what I didn't they know. Um, they they go back uh, probably almost a hundred years for this one. It's such a beautiful process. Yeah. It makes the picture look so much prettier. I've never seen one live. Even when you look at a picture on the internet, it looks beautiful. But this is far. These are just. This is going to be such a star. Yeah. In the show. And That's it's so perfect. cool. Oh my and god. I... Oh, and there's another one. Think about and how well that's held up. Uh, hold on, let me cut this part here so it's easier to open. Because it's old, but it doesn't look it doesn't look tarnished yeah. or dirty or anything. Yeah. Must let be me do some that. more cutting this way. It's called oh, Crystolium, you said? Yeah. I believe I'm saying that right. These are my first ones, so I, like I said, I've never seen these before. I've got daguerreotypes and things like that, but I, in the process of searching early photography, I stumbled upon this like literally like a week ago. And I was so impressed with what I saw the pictures. And now I'm even more impressed. I want more of these. Wow. They're so 
so beautiful. So, so this one is kind of like Christmas gifts or something. And this one is um, fixing the sleigh. Yeah. This one is repairing the sleigh is the name of this one. God, they're, they're stunning. You can tell they're old just by the back. And this is probably the first time you've heard of this kind of picture. Yeah. So it's this is your shoelace. The first time you're you're getting to see this, you're getting to touch it. And I want you to touch it because look how interesting that is. But Isn't I like how it pops out. All, if this wasn't so hard to do, <laughs> probably all photography should be this. Because <laughs> yeah. this is just beautiful. Wow. Yeah, if it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I could do it expensive. Wow. That's really, Emma, that is stunning beyond me. That is just beautiful. You know. You're not saying this is a photograph. This is a painting. It's a painting. But oh, yeah. you do it, yeah. Yeah, that's not a photograph. There was, there was a second where I was like, no, there's not. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. It's a painting, but they embedded into this. Yeah, yeah like how the frame so they, is so. It's awesome. So for when I, they take off, if I can remember correctly, I don't have to read, but it, they take off the paper backing and then they embed it, they embed it into the glass somehow, so that way it's translucent, mm -hmm. so you can see through it. Huh. And so now it's got this kind of cool, glassy kind of look to it. Yeah. Um, so, so what did you open? Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, okay. And here's what I need you to do. I need you to go this last piece. Watch your fingers. <laughs> and then pull that right out. Paper? Well, I think it's probably a new paper to keep something safe. Oh, it's part of that, another one of those bottles. It looks like From it's another small Lydia. family. So this is empty a, bottle. Right, and this it is, still says medicine on it. Oh, this is the medicine one. This is the older one. So mm -hmm. this is the uh, Lydia uh, Pinkham's medicine, which was vegetable compound, but it had alcohol. I think 15% mm -hmm. alcohol is what I recall. And then uh, vegetable compound, they were like, the alcohol is just for like mixing it up. And I'm like, yeah, really? <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is another one of those bottles she was, you know, for people who are just joining. Uh, the, it's, um, you know, she was like the women's health uh, guru from the early 1800s up until today. That company hmm. still exists from what I know. Um, what do they sell I've seen today? modern bottles of it. And I was like, wow, there's modern bottles of this. And it's still a vegetable kind. It's an herbal remedy. Uh, but back then they would have had it, it had alcohol in it and it was more than <laughs> yeah. yeah and it, it was one of those cure-alls that was supposed to cure you of everything so they had books and books and books of things it would cure you of and half of it was probably quack medicine and maybe it cured you of one or two things mm. so now we have the item for mum the ghost <laughs> and well, so the spirit, uh, not the ghost. The 